Hi, I'm James Cryer, I'm the branch manager for Mears. Um, it's a national company, we look after social housing um, and uh, we've got um, look after 12,500 homes in the city. And in your opinion, what general skills do young people need when starting their first job? I think the thing that we really look out for is a bit of enthusiasm and confidence and uh, a willingness to work. They're probably the key elements for people to display. Um, if you show those sort of skills and attributes, um, most people can put their mind to anything as long as they're willing to learn. So, so to us that's key that people are, have that confidence and really show some enthusiasm and want to learn. Uh, what qualifications and experience do a young person need to have to increase their chance of getting a job in your industry? Maths and English are the key skills. It doesn't always mean um, if you don't get the correct qualifications that the, you know that that's going to block you because there are opportunities especially with a company like me is to do those key skills um, while you're doing your apprenticeship but it is an advantage if you can demonstrate that you've done well in maths and English so they're probably our two key areas to concentrate on. And what routes there into a career in your industry? Apprenticeships are probably one of the best ways into the construction side and also into the administration because it's a lot better for a company to actually train uh, an individual in their own ethics and their own way of working. So to take an apprentice is a really good way for us to actually increase our business and get people who really understand what we're about and, and how we want to do it. So apprenticeships are a, are, a, are a real key way of entering a business like me is. Once I have a job in your industry, what would I need to do to progress further? Well, the company is very um, willing towards looking towards career development and uh, succession planning. So, apprenticeship is just the first entry level. It doesn't mean that people stop there. We've got a carpenter who's now learning to be a trainee surveyor, um, and other ones have gone up to become supervisors and take more senior jobs within the company. So, there's plenty of opportunity to carry on training once you've completed your apprenticeship and developed yourself. So, it's, it's only the start of the story, really. And um, can you tell me about your first job? I was an apprentice, so I was an apprentice plumber. Um, I never thought I'd see myself in an office job myself, but I now run the contract in Brighton. So I'm the branch manager, I've got 180 staff, and our business turns over about 20 million pound a year with Brighton. So I actually found that a lot easier because it's now an office job that I'm interested in because it relates to a trade that I was interested in. So my career just developed through just starting at the bottom and working my way up to the top. Um, is there any other advice you'd like to give young people? I think the best thing about apprenticeships is the thing that distinguishes you from other people is that when you go for other jobs, not only have you got the qualification, but you've got the work experience that goes with it. And that um, gives a lot of people the edge because a lot of people can come to you and say, yes, I know it and I've got a qualification, but whether they can actually do it is a different matter. So if they've done it through an apprenticeship route and they've demonstrated they've been working for three years and they've got that work ethic and you know they're going to turn up in the morning and they're already in the sort of work mood or, or mode um, then they're a lot more attractive to an employer so I would say it can be more beneficial than just going down an academic route.